Imam al Mahdi. We gave a lecture in Subang Jaya, maybe just one week ago, on Imam al Mahdi and the end time. And you can go on YouTube, Brother Ishaq here is doing this wonderful job. We give the lecture tonight, tomorrow morning this lecture is on YouTube. And people all around the world are listening to it and looking at May Allah bless Brother Ishaq who is here with us tonight. It is at that time that Imam al Mahdi will emerge. It is at that time that Nabi Isa Islam will return. The true Messiah will kill the false Messiah. It is at that time that the clash of Gog and Magog will take place. Large numbers of people are going to die. In Surah Al Isra of the Quran, we have a shivering verse which makes us shiver, which I believe is linked with this event, with the thousands of nuclear weapons exploding. Allah says in Surah Al Isra, Wa im min qabiyatin illa nahnu muhlikuha qabla yawm al qiyamati aw muazzibuha adaban shadida. كان ذلك في الكتاب مصدورا. Not a single town or city will escape destruction. Not a single town or city will escape destruction. We will destroy them all. And those which escape destruction will be punished with terrible punishment. Hmm? Surah Al Isra. So the towns and the cities are where Dajjal is focusing his effort to get you to worship him rather than to worship Allah. So security lies in moving out to that place that the Malay call Kampung. You know about Kampung? If you don't, well, wait until Hari Raya comes and try to drive on the road. Hmm? Hari Raya means Edel Fitr. The remote countryside is where the Jal's influence will be minimum. The remote countryside is where you're most likely to bring up your children to be good Muslims rather than to join the Blue Jeans, the Martin KLCC. It is at that time when the clash of Gog and Magog takes place, that the power of modern Western civilization is destroyed. Electronic warfare is not possible anymore. And so you return to conventional warfare, horses, and Nabi Muhammad Islam spoke of an army, a Muslim army coming out of Khorasan, which will be unstoppable until it liberates Jerusalem. But the hadith about the liberation of Jerusalem appears to me to indicate that this is not going to be any big clash between us and them. Rather that at that time the Jews are going to be fleeing not standing and fighting. He listened to this hadith with which we'll end the lecture. Uh, yes. It is in Sahih Bukhari. You'll most certainly fight the Jews. No government in the Muslim world today. None, 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 none. Dares. To quote this hadith of Muhammad except perhaps those who are now afraid they're going to be attacked or those who are already being attacked. Yes. Let to Qatilun al Yahud you'll most certainly fight the Jews. Which Jews? Is the Prophet speaking about those Jews who are standing with us Muslims in condemning Israel? Is the Prophet speaking about those Jews who are struggling with us to liberate the oppressed Palestinians from Israeli oppression? 
Come on. No. You do not seek meaning and come to conclusion based on the study of a solitary hadith. The Prophet والسلام, is speaking about those Jews who are wicked oppressors. Who have turned their backs on the truth which is in Judaism. Those Jews. You will most certainly fight the Jews. And you will be de defeat them. At that time the stones will speak. A stone will speak. Ya Muslim. There's a Jew hiding behind me. So come and kill him. Come and kill him. So they're going to be running on that day, not standing up and fighting. This lecture is meant to put hope in the hearts, particularly of the young ones. For we now live in an age of great darkness, with dark clouds over us. War on Islam intensifying every day. This lecture is meant to make your hearts strong. Don't give up. Do not despair. Hold on to the truth and the Quran. Hold on to Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam. Regardless of the price you have to pay. Because history is going to end with the triumph of truth over falsehood. Justice over injustice. And the religion of Islam triumphant over all rivals. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samir alim. Wa tawa alayna ya mawlana innaka anta tawabu rahim wa rahmatika ya ahma rahmin. Amin. Salatu alayshah. Ilahi.